नमस्कार दिस इज मी सानिया राज बैक अगेन मैं आपके साथ फिर से जुड़ी हूं और आज मैं फिर से आपके ही कहने से दीप्ति जी को साथ लेकर आई हूं बहुत लोग पूछ रहे थे उनके बारे में मुझसे तो मैंने बहुत ज्यादा उनसे रिक्वेस्ट करी दीप्ति जी बहुत बिजी रहती हैं उन यू you नो know, उनके पास काफी कुछ है करने के लिए एक्चुअली एंड शी इज बीन रियली रियली यू नो वर्किंग हार्ड सो मुझे बहुत ही खुशी होती है कि जब यू नो ऐसे लोग भी टाइम निकाल कर आते हैं और आप लोगों की बात सुनते हैं सो आई वॉन्ट वॉन्ट टू टेक सो मच टाइम एंड शी इज गोइंग बी टॉकिंग ऑफकोर्स ऑन सुशांत सिंह राजपूत एंड दी कंसर्निंग डायरीज दट शी इज यू नो बीन टॉकिंग फॉर सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड एंड वी विल नॉट स्टॉप until the justice is given hello uh, debashis ji thank you so much that you joined and uh, so we have decided that we will keep continuing and people like deepthi i always told her i just spoke to her today morning and i said that you are the fuel you are the hope for lot of ssrians when when you come forward and and create a dynamics uh, because since everything is almost Uh, you know very quiet from the authorities point of view so as we outsiders who have no clue what's going on it's always good to have people like dipti who has the information of uh, you know um, when it comes to legal, legal legalities she is very aware at the same time she has something to say uh, which she believes is very strongly for the case and that's why i believe that i want to speak with uh, dipti pinati and uh, make sure her voice is heard uh you know so i'm going to call upon dipti paniti and let's see what she has to say today namaskar dipti ji namaste sanya ji how are you after a long time <laughs> exactly after a long time good to see you really good to see you a lot of people yeah, have us and okay. <laughs> already and so dipti ji uh, thank you for coming and uh, for me it is wonderful to have you because uh, we would like to know i remember last time you came you spoke about uh some chapters from your book um and we spoke that's, on that yeah that's not book actually that is sushant's drives yeah sushant's topic drives. yeah yeah, right, yeah. Right. okay i'm talking right the drives and uh, so i would like to actually uh, you know continue from where we stopped and uh, okay. you know i would help you if you just take out the you know another page and then i would like to like to tell you where we were as i told you we were we we ended up where uh, you know he was being called you know in the party and then he was uh, manhandled he was yeah. manhandled he was manhandled and yeah. uh, and that's it and there we stopped after that and we spoke ar- around that a bit and and then we we didn't speak after that no did i did they tell about his hospital visit i think i covered that you did tell about the- yeah because yeah. of the injuries he sustained yeah exactly 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 okay so that was what i mostly spoke about were the people in the bollywood industry which you had mentioned those who were involved in actually intimidating him and uh, you know in threatening him yes. so from there on i will continue from there on yeah sanya ji but uh, i would like to read the disclaimer here because some very big names are going to come So let me just read the disclaimer once again before I continue with this slide. Right. Okay. Uh just a second. Yeah. So the matter that I'm going to narrate is a piece of information we have received from our sources and needs thorough validation from the agencies. I am sharing it on public domain because I didn't get an opportunity to meet the agencies and want to bring the matter to the notice of the agencies since this has instances to a case on hand. and once i am done handing it over to the, to the agencies which is confirmed through a public statement i am not in any ways endorsing the views or hold good for any legal implications i am not interested in pursuing this as a case either i am talking about sushant's case okay this this, this disclaimer before anyone uh, asks any questions uh, i want to remind people that uh, i already have another case at hand so i have to make certain things clear so that uh, i don't fa- face any implications for my original case which i was fighting for shridevi okay right yeah. yeah so from there he says uh, i will start reading yeah okay enough and more spoken about bollywood and my industry now let's talk about some other people who are also involved in this 
and what is the role in this system and how deeply the, are they rooted in this system anil deshmukh to explain this person in one word he was a power broker he had his hands almost into everything but yet had put an image so clean that not many would doubt him but his name first popped up when i was doing some research around the tari kanwar and sharad pawar split and what is that made sharad pawar openly support bjp in 2014 and what is that made sharad pawar openly say that modi ji is clean when it comes to the rafale deal what was the hidden agenda behind it a man who never was in terms with anyone giving such a statement was not going down well with me and i felt this too had some connection somewhere because sharad pawar was always a questionable figure and when i had discussed this with the team they too had the same opinion that i had and we had decided to pursue this angle what happened during this is a lot more dirtier than the entire filth of the bollywood industry put together the under table transactions how these people don't want to do good and don't let people do good how these people put pressure on modi ji and are seriously spreading hate about him in the public how agendas are made to show every decision taken by the government in bad light let me make one point very clear here i am neither a supporter or an opposer of anyone but what i have found during the course of my investigation i have gone by it as a case study in my earlier slides but back then i didn't take names now that i have to give this a proper closure before i move on to the next task on hand in this chapter i will definitely take names when you have reached here these names are the need of the hour for you to understand what steps you got to take further and where is that mistake of yours hiding that can cost you big you need to be very very watchful and careful and this definitely will take a huge toll on your thought process and it is completely understandable you are just reading these words i have written and are yet to see what i have to back this up but let me tell you one thing unless you finish reading all this just a second please yeah but let me but let me tell you one thing unless you finish reading all this and know these faces well having your hands on those papers will do go no good to you because history will be repeated again and you will be under prepared to fight this battle and i don't want that to happen i am taking pain to write this in as simple language as possible so that each word is understood and there is no hidden message in any of my words i had to do this in this way because simplicity is the best way of expressing one's thoughts to others cryptic thoughts are only needed when you need to leave people to decide but when you have to make someone aware that this is what is happening then you need to ensure that you have to keep it as simple as possible because what i firmly believe is that no one is great or no one is weak it's the mind that is strong and it's your actions that are weak no one is special everyone is the same but the way someone uses the resources given to him by nature makes the difference and it's in the mind and the planning you do that makes the difference i am writing all this because this helps me keep going strong and if your thought process doesn't synchronize with the actions you want to take then these lines might help or your gut feeling will be your torch light please understand one thing everyone has it in himself to stand up for himself it is just that we don't want to listen to ourselves but want to listen to the world and that's why these people never fall down because it's this insecurity in you that is the fuel to these people's evil actions and the results they get with these there for everything but the person inside you is only there for you so the self belief you have in you and your character are the only two things you need to take care you need to care for and care about if you want to do something good for the society do something for yourself whatever you are doing even this work what i am doing i think this is for myself because till that self need to finish doesn't arise there is no point you actually can do anything because whatever is the scenario till you are totally involved in it you will just need that one reason to convince yourself that you are done and move on
but if you are involved and feel what you are doing is what you are doing for yourself then even the entire world together tries to pull you down you will always get that one reason to continue small breaks in between is totally understandable but if you are doing this for yourself then you will always have that one reason to bounce back stronger than before and that is what is actually needed sanjay raut if i could draw a picture of how ego looks like then i am sure my pen would sketch this man out and this man is one person for whom he is about everyone the political thug whose weakness is only that you should not hurt his his ego and his character was glorified in the movie singham the role prakash has played is based on this person this man i don't know what more to write about him but yes if you want to know in detail about him all you do need to do just hurt his ego once only once and he himself will open up in front of you but let me tell you you need to be very careful here because once this man's ego is hurt then you will have everyone behind you his people the police every goddamn thug in maharashtra will be hungry for your blood and will come hard on you like a colony of honey bees but yes if his weakness is with you he will be behind you like slave and can do anything for you just a second uh and can do anything for you that one weakness of this person is all that i need to tease this man a lesson this man has done a lot of injustice to the society and i will soon teach him a lesson he will learn for the rest of his life aditya thakre exposing this man will be one of the biggest reason for the entire bollywood mafia to kill me if they need one deeply connected to the mafia and also the bridge that helped form the current government this is one person who can open up to a lot of stories if handled properly and this is the man who actually showed us what is the connection of this dirty bollywood industry what happened to shiny ahuja to is so closely connected to these people and i ha- and i have some papers to support it this man is now the person who is the actual mastermind mastermind behind the casting couch and other drug related angles in the bollywood and underworld don't consider i am done yet there are two more names i am going to take here which will shake you totally but yes i have to do my homework and gather proofs around these two people as these two were lo- last minute entry into my list and yes before i give out the names let me give you the angles why i got these doubts and why these people finally made into my list vivek obroy and salman khan are arc rivals and the entire industry knows this but if there was one person with whom both were well connected and when he was in the frame both kept their differences aside and worked like a team that man is devendra fadnavis and when i got a little deeper into this connection and took the help of some old staff the only thing i realized was even this fight was a staged drama it was staged to make sure that in the fit of rage whatever what happened between salman and aishwarya to make sure this doesn't make aishwarya go wild and come hard on them vivek was introduced into aishwarya's life by salman himself and whatever happened after that is known to everyone and who made this happen our minister the leader of opposition now devendra fadnavis i don't have any proof for this except for the words of the staff and some other statements of people who claim to be eye witness to some meetings but yes if i look at the general socialistic behavior of these people then yes it's quite obvious that these stories can be actually true nothing wrong in keeping the person on the radar and being wary of him everyone these days has the impression that because narendra modi ji is there in the center all his party workers are clean but the ground reality tells a totally different story and this story can be far 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 away from the real reality that is being shown to us but there is nothing to worry about this person now but if i am put to rest and you get hold of this one request i got to make is that don't trust these people easily they might be in the party that has promised a lot 
and yes to a certain extent when compared to all the filth that is in the country today modi ji is far better modi ji is far better but this doesn't mean there are no jackals with him there are enough jackals with him and the king of them all as i had told earlier when the time comes i will speak about him he is none other than the flag bearer of cases the man who has started so many but has not got even one to a logical conclusion and keeps talking 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 and talking the person who is from harvard the man who is known for his blunt approach in the media dr subramanian swami let's start from the beginning not sure sure whether i should be writing this or not but if one person has two tongues and these two tongues need to be given a name then for me that name obviously would be dr subramanian swami i don't mean to defame or throw filth on him but sometimes he seems to contradict his own statements and the high profile cases he has filed seems to be going on forever i want to approach him with my findings but when i read all this but when i read all this i took my steps back something is seriously wrong somewhere and this man knows a whole lot of it and has the right choice of words to play around with it with a small introduction to the rules of other people but with my own doubts i would make one thing clear here that the doubts about dr swami and devendra fadnavis i don't have much evidences on it and i am not sure if i am correct or wrong here that time will tell but the rest of the lot and the mess that is happening in mumbai and maharashtra and the impact it can make on the society and also the after effects of this mess my thoughts of the future sends shivers down my today's conscience that if this happens then there will be no place for humanity to breathe that meeting was done and when i was back i decided to pursue further but on a direction take one thing up at a time and then assign one task to each of the limited people left with me whom i could still trust but one thing that kept haunting me was what should the future course of action be and how should we plan things out and get to our desired results the only way forward looked a little blur but that was not the problem the problem was from where to start everything looked important and i was not sure how to pick the right battle to get to the right to get to the result sooner but before i go ahead there is one character who needs to be given a special mention here she is one person who always amused me only till i found out how deeply she too was connected to everything and how did she play her games around this how did she manage to gain sympathy and how did she reach to that image where now she is one of the most respected people and people consider her to be the ray of hope but this is not the fact if i go a little deeper into this woman's past there are a lot there are a lot of stories which tell something else and we can do nothing but conclude that she is one chameleon who can change colors and statements any time i had high regards for her but only one thing that keeps haunting me and leaves me confused is that when she was raising one allegation over another over another on aditya pancholi how is it that she has no idea about what happened to jia khan and the answer to this question i don't know where to seek but the fact is that this woman is someone who needs limelight and then once her agenda is satisfied will walk away as nothing ever happened this is how the trend has been set and this is what is the reality too i feel and conclude because when all the time she is raising allegations i am using this word as allegation here not because i am fan of aditya or suraj not do i have even the slightest of the doubts that jia was killed by this father son duo but the word allegation is around this female why let me explain rabia ji has been fighting this case from the time this has happened and she is out there open in the public domain whenever kangna was with aditya how is it possible that were not a single instance where a mention was made about jia or anything around this and why is she mum i want to believe and know what she is telling about what aditya did to her is true but then why is her lips sealed she is so vocal about everything then why the silence in the matter of jia this is what i say an opportunist whatever be the case i find it hard to believe that there was not a single mention of jia khan from aditya pancholi rather for the person i know him to be if i get 
this right he should and will have threatened her this is what we did to jia and if you go against us this is what we will do to you when he told me certain things in a fit of rage how can he not tell this to kangana and if he has told this to her why is she silent few our society use the instance only if it will give you mileage and if one person who can testify this to be true and stands as a flag bearer for it then the name for me has to be kangana ranaut so there are so many of these double faced people out there but all those are not really important because for me everyone has a double face but that double face is in personal capacity and as long as it stays there is nothing much to worry all the worry happens when it becomes a threat to the society and when people get affected by it this is unfortunate and painful that you want to call out on your insecurities you want to call out for the crimes that have happened on you but how selfish can you be that you can never raise your voice for someone who cannot this for me is not acceptable and hence i would call that kangana ranawat is spreading allegations both on hrithik and aditya as allegations just because my heart says uh just because my heart says and i have some reports that she knows a lot around the jia khan murder but till date she is tight lipped on the same i shall expose each one of them keeping silent while knowing things for me is involvement in crime and for me i develop respect only when someone who claims to wear emotions and words up their sleeves means it too and is not choosy to suit their situations this is it for now this is it for now on this angle and we will proceed further in the next slide i shall talk about some more confessions made and how those confessions were connected to so many cases and why is it that these people still chose to remain silent and what i have learnt out it the only thing that i fail to understand is that when you are a star and you have a public following why do you have to stay silent and keep quiet when all that you need to do is for once come out lash and then go back into your cocoon and think about your safety and the other head- headaches that he is to follow what i heard from what i heard from one source perfectly sums it up but when i think about it from my perspective now after these meetings i feel that i should slowly start opening up and should get things out there but before doing it as i have decided to myself i will go about it in one shot and leave it all out there first a press conference then use the tool which is readily available for all social media and tell everyone what is happening here so that if people want to join hands they can and more importantly what is the need of the hour for this to happen is an unbiased media which will cover informations as and how it is without adding any flavor to it or build a narrative around it the need of the hour for the country as i have discussed in my earlier slides is that people should come out in the open express their opinion give a damn to people's opinion and voice out because what my life has taught me is that when 10 people stand against you there is that one who will stand with you and with this one you should start and move slowly making yourself powerful and then transform this power and leave it to the universe to decide the best way to answer a question is to silently keep working and turn deaf to everyone and let the work do the talking karan aditya salman aditya chopra how many can i name tried to put me down tried to bl- tried to build blind articles around me trap me into a fake me to allegation two by spreading a theory around it but who came out as a winner i don't know to the world but to my conscience and the limited people who look up to me my fans and to my god i think i am the one who emerged victorious and how could i do it i did it just because i was up for it i did not give up and while writing this too i have one request for a message to be spread through the person who is reading this because this message i feel is the need of the hour in our country and not just our country this message is the need of the hour for the entire humanity and i feel this message can sum my life up to the life i have lived so far and the life i will continue to live when you feel you are left alone when you feel you are falling apart 
when you feel that all your efforts have gone down the drain and when you feel that everything is over remember three things always are in you and that can get you back from any situation any condition or any problem that you are in these three things are thoughts words action positivity in your thoughts as this can do the trick for you in most of the cases though it might look theoretical but the fact is that if you have positivity in your attitude it is this positivity that will help you stand strong and this can multiply it is very important that you know what your limits are but li these limits should be only for your body not for your thoughts if you try to limit your thoughts then only limit your negative thoughts because your positive thoughts are the one that can win you any battle all you need to understand here is that one positive approach towards any problem no matter however big however big the problem is means actually half the problem is solved looks difficult but with difficulty comes challenges and with challenges comes excellence and excellence can make your success permanent and this is how you can emerge out of any situation and come out as a winner words least to be spoken when not required most to be spoken when required not to be spoken when conspired your choice of words is that weapon you have on your hands that can win you any battle without a stick being picked when you have people all around when you have people all around you who are ready to judge you even for the smallest mistake you make this comes in handy because one thing that i have learnt understood practiced followed and shall remember forever is that the wound given by a weapon heals with time but the wound given by words heal with your actions because when you make the right action and do not respond the person who used such words on you will have no place to hide himself or his face and you can actually live to see it see it in this life and you can actually live to see it in this lifetime happened to me in numerous instances and i have come out as a winner i don't generally have preferences while i speak about people or i am a nobody to judge anyone but one thing that i always follow is before you want to spit on someone just spit in the sky but if you want to spit on someone for the wrong action made then spit him in in his eye our industry is quite famous when it comes to this and people often speak volumes behind someone's back but when the but when they come in front of the person what is seen just hugs and kisses one such instance i would quote here is about shilpa shetty when i was just having a casual talk with her during one of our social encounter the topic of akshay kumar came out of nowhere and madam went on and on and on my god damn she was full on talking about the man out of nowhere the man marked his presence and the woman was completely a different person altogether just an instance on the lighter note to make you understand the importance words can be spoken in dozens behind a person's back but when you actually speak it speak it on his face but when you actually speak it on his face that's when that's what is needed none of us here are perfect and are bound to make mistakes but when we know that we are not perfect why to look into someone else's imperfections the best way this is answered is that the only opinion i have about myself is that i don't have any opinion for me for me every test in our life comes to make us better or better every problem comes to make us or break us the choice is mine whether i become a victim or turn victorious i chose the latter because unless the stone th goes through the hard hits of the chisel it can never become sculpture and this is life the problems that come on to you is god's way to make you ready for the success you are going to taste and as i have always said unless you have earned it you can never enjoy it and the pain you take to earn it actually helps you to keep it for a longer time the glory earned through short cuts don't stay long what happened to values our elders taught us what where is our society heading to if you want to find answers then you have to look for the answers inside you because for this question called life you are the answer and if you don't have the answer in you then it means that the clock has just begun and you will find it soon now the third angle bollywood done 
politics done, I had to follow my BBPPU theory. But I will go about it as in how I feel it appropriate too. Because the name I have coined and the work I am doing, the alphabets might interchange, but the entire incidents revolve around these five alphabets. BBPPU, Bollywood, Businessmen, Politicians, Police, Underworld. Not everyone, but there will be that one, two, three people who will be involved within brackets, sarcastic, rather not involved. When it comes to the politics and the police angle, but businessmen, yes, there are a lot of honest businessmen out there, but I am not talking about them. I am talking about the listed businessmen here. So kindly don't confuse yourself. In Bollywood, though, you can count with your fingers how many are true and clean, and then the underworld. This is the connection that causes most of the damage. But if you go deeper into it, you will find these are the people under whose supervision most of the crimes happen. Sometimes I feel that most of the people in the government and each of these sec sectors are organized criminals. And as the saying goes, every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. This can hold good to every word here. The reason I am bringing this here is because I want to conclude the message I want to pass. Action is the most important aspect in one's life that can actually define a person, what exactly he is, and also give a stamp that this is what he really is. But sometimes actions to confuse you, and the best way to actually counter this confusion again is to not have any opinion about anyone in this fight. You shall encounter a lot of people who are out of sync within themselves, but that doesn't mean you jump into judgments. To explain, Asif Bhai can go on and on for hours on something should be done. But if he actually has to do it, then the man will drop back. He will slow down. And Sandeep, on the other hand, does not speak much. But when it comes to getting the work done, no one can match Sandeep's speed. This is the contrast I want, I want to make here. See, it is important to have this balance in life, else you will be lost into this fight as to what to stand for and what not to. According to me, the funda is simple. Mean what you say, say what you mean. The message has to go loud and clear out to the public, and I will be doing it. But after the recent incidents that have happened, and for one reason or the other, I am not able to do it, kindly make sure this message reaches out there. The message is the only person who can judge you is your thought process, followed by the words you choose and the actions you implement. Everything else is just sham. Okay. Tanya ji, you want to say something before I continue reading the slides again? Uh, I am completely numbed because <laughs> I, I just feel, I don't know, I might, I'm like a child because uh, this seems like that I want to hear it more and more because I could, I don't know, I feel that it's he who's, it, 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 because I swear to God, just before this, I spoke to one of his very close friends, I can't mention his, his name, and he spoke about few attributes that you're mentioning, and I have not heard this story, what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard it. I didn't hear your story because I'm willing to hear from your mouth, so I don't want to hear this from anybody else. And this guy was telling me that, you know, you mentioned about his, uh, you know, how he thinks, what his message is. And that, that friend of his, was, I was talking to him now, just before your thing, because I'm going to be talking to him next week. So he talked about that. I mean, you, how he thinks, how he believed. And you're saying the same thing. So this is, I'm very surprised that uh, you're saying now when I just heard before that Sushant used to be like this and he doesn't, you know, and you just said that, you just said what he wrote about himself. So see, I, Sanya ji, I, I uh, firmly believe that, see, though before Sushant also there were other uh, martyrs, you can say, there were other people who have sacrificed their lives trying to expose uh, the dark hidden truths. But Sushant's soul is so powerful. I mean, his entire personality, the the kind of person he was, the way and everything. I feel that this time the truth will come out. However, how much ever attempts be made to malign it or bury it, that see, you just now mentioned something. It will come out through this way. Even if the mainstream media is not with us, 
is not with the truth this time the truth is not going to stay buried or hidden no because because you know dipti ji uh, i mean there is two things there are three things one is the fact one is the truth and one is the emotional connect with the soul you know so the facts and the truth the truth can never be hidden the facts have been twisted the facts have been twisted and the truth can never be hidden it will come and that's what we are we are stammering about what we people when you are stammering i'm stammering what are we doing we're just saying get the truth out get the truth out what the facts have been twiddled that you know they've just erased all the evidences they've done everything so we cannot go on facts if you if you understand but what we are going now you what my my question with every time you come on the scene why i want you on my platform i chase you like a crazy woman because i you know i want people to hear you i want e abroad everywhere people to see you you are a, by the grace of god you are living being who is telling something to our authorities and they just blindfold it totally because they think that oh this is woman she wants some fame i mean no like, it's not that uh, uh, sanya ji see if you are making note of what is coming out in these drives you can understand uh, that why the authorities or the people in the agencies might not be interested the reason is the same why wohra committee report never made it to the public the entire report the reason is the same why it was not acted on till date this nexus has its hand i mean we have politicians we have actors we have uh, people from the sports field we have people from the business field this is a nexus this is a syndicate we have big big names associated with now i mean i don't want to feed anything but we have cases of uh, as i keep saying hillary clinton's foundation being associated with child trafficking and uh, you know cases against uh, the pope the queen warren buffet and some other uh, top uh, people the cream of the society uh for crimes against humanity against the gates foundation so this thing is actually people have uh, this truth was trying to seep someone used someone used the, it the name of illuminati okay someone calls it crunch someone i mean it is called but if, but there is this society which the whose sole intention is profits this nexus has been running governments this nexus has been it's all connected i mean through the foods through the fertilizer laced foods and through technology which you know which will bring uh, quick profits but which uh, will be adverse for the health or for the environment or the for the nature in the long run that is not taken care of their own because they are making patients for the hospitals they own exactly this nexus who owns the hospitals the right, everything from food to education to health they own so they create demand they create demand for their own products exactly and we are nothing but products for them and if anyone wants to object against uh, this style of functioning or raise their stand because one thing they know is that people should not be aware of this truth if people become aware of this truth then they will come together and there will be a revolution and uprising and whatever so that's the reason the first thing they did is that they took control of the media the mainstream media not only in india the control is there outside as well absolutely okay so the mainstream media will never uh, you know will only show things in a way that they they will uh, fool the people they can so that they can fool the people that yes they are showing some news against them but ultimately nothing happens it is in pursuit yeah different channels different narratives to keep this the people is, divided yeah this is this could be another topic but yes i want to just add on because this is a very serious matter like when we are talking about dictatorship and de- democracies and we are talking about the countries like iraq and you know uh, south uh, middle east countries where there is dictatorship and we are talking about the democratic countries now what you're mentioning is the the deep core seated problem which is lied in democracy in democratic countries like usa and coming down to our country where we are making our business as our profits and we are trying to portray the uh, social activism we are trying to portray the good exactly. health but behind exactly. it it's all about money making journey exactly like, you know the pharmaceuticals like you know the pharmaceuticals 
they're giving prescribing drugs to people so that they are dependent. The drugs are only until symptom. You know, they, they just take care of the symptoms, but not the roots. The again, same. again, yeah. I will tell here that, that not everything is, see, they cannot afford to, you know, uh, straight away show their true colors in every, every activity of theirs. So to keep the people div divided, some services will be given, which are actually good for health. But then same hospitals, some hospitals, some government hospitals have been associated with organ trafficking as well, exactly. have been associated with illegal uh, clinical trials. So behind, I mean, on the front, they carry on good business. And uh, again, this is a very big topic, allopathy, Ayurvedic and all. So the best thing is, uh, you know, combination of all we should do. Exactly, exactly. I don't and want to. Food, even the food that you were talking about, the food we are eating, it's almost poisonous, you know, the, the packaging they are doing, everything. So I'm totally with you. And they are wanting this whole thing, the food in terms of, you know, putting too much of sugar in the uh, diets of kids. It is, it is all, you know, long-term dependency, which they create and the long-term health effects that they want the money, you know, all that systems that we already have, you know, we already know about it. But the point, what you're trying to say, I can totally understand. It's all profitization. From the, exactly. From the bigger to the lower levels, it's all profitization. I'm and not sure. I think it's Nestle or something few years back. It uh, filed claiming uh, ownership of a river. I mean, like it wanted the river to be exclusive used to. So fortunately, fortunately, it, it was rejected by the court. Uh, but do you see the kind of, uh, you know, business they are making the earth's resources to be? So ultimately, we are moving towards those times. Uh, now we are paying for uh, drinking water, right? We are paying for drinking water, to, for access to drinking water. Very soon, if this kind of capitalism and mindless uh, materialism and uh, this destruction of the nature continues, then very soon we'll be paying for uh, clean air to breathe as well. Like in, fact, it even, in fact, it even showed its, uh, it even raised its head. In Delhi, the population went to that extent that they were requiring, you know, oxygen, exactly. clean oxygen, and they were charging so much. I mean, but this was a proof, you know, what had happened now lately, you know, about the corona. This was a proof. A lot of people were saving, you know, all around the world. They were almost trying to say that let's save some oxygens, uh, you know, uh, uh, masks. So that, that was medical oxygen. That's I'm not talking about that. So that is for medical case. You are talking about the oxygen uh, during the COVID and all. That's because of a medical emergency. That is a, uh, medical oxygen. We, I'm not talking about medical oxygen here. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, normal breathing. Mm -hmm. But I when mean, it last year, it yeah, polluted. last year or so, yeah, last year or so, some of uh, Delhi and some of the cities in the world, the yeah, they have an index to measure the population levels in the air. So it went much below, uh, you know, what is safe for humans. To have and people actually ha started having problems. Nay, nee, what I you're right, you're right because just before the corona, the the index was so low, and then yes. corona came. It all got clean. The gang the ganges got cleaned and all that stuff. We said it's nature's its own way of you know recouping, re uh, uh, alloying. But I do understand where you're coming. But what I'm saying is that we human beings have seen the sample proof when nature has taken its own course and has allowed us to see how life could be if we go down. But if we don't learn, we will end up there. Now it was a medical emergency. It will be another kind of emergency where we will have no choice but to fall, you know, in the pit. Sanyaji, I mean, uh, this has been highlighted in the media, but a lot of other emergencies are also happening around. You have no idea the, uh, I mean, the area of uh, forests that we have lost due to, to wildfires past one year. Yeah. Yeah. All over the world. Yes, that is such. I mean, you can't uh, see it, but that is such a big destruction yes. uh, going forward for the environment and the temperatures and everything. Uh, yeah. And not only that, there have been oil spills in the uh, sea as well. Okay, that's where you know, oil spills. That's and you have, and we have news of you know all those dolphins and uh, aquatic species washing ashore their carcasses because of their oil spill. So. Mm -hmm. And in China, it's uh, floods, sandstorms of unexpected, I mean, the worst sandstorms in 10 years, that's happening. So everywhere, and in India also, I mean, landslides and rains and people dying due to lightning. So, I mean, 
the nature is actually not I mean, nature, happy. nature yeah. is absolutely, re, you know, retaliating because yes, exactly. You know, always enough is enough, you know. And last year in my country, where I, you know, where I'm living, Sweden, we had an immense about this. What you're talking about the uh, the forests getting burnt is one of the first few times. And we come from, you know, we have almost minus thirty degrees. In our north is minus forty degrees, but even here the weather has changed. There is snow has become very less. I in Sweden have had 40 degrees. Can you imagine? It's impossible. 40 degrees we've had in our summer. In this summer, we've had 38 degrees. And last summer, I had 40 degrees. It's unbelievable. All this because of this wildfires. I mean, we are now no media highlights it. No media highlights it. But just check. I mean, the information will be there. Mainstream media has not highlighted it. The hectares and hectares of forest area that has been lost because of this wildfires. Wildfires lasting from days. I have a friend in California. He had this. They had a wildfire in U.S. It is wildfire. California, it's yes. California is very bad as far as wildfires are concerned. It's very bad. Still, still fire is rising over there. Exactly, exactly. So it's all over. You're absolutely right. Landslides. It's Singapore just had it right. Singapore. Just we heard in it. India also. In India also we had uh, in recently Dharam we Dharam lost. In yes. Dharam 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 so it is yes. crazy. It's a, absolutely. Uh, this is re very very. And I think it's a great topic you've taking and taking up because this kind of the climate. People thought this guy who was the law. You know, he said, "Oh, it's a fake. It's nothing." You know, Trump said. Donald Trump said that <laughs> it's fake. People are exaggerating. It's not fake for God's sake. I mean, any. Any stupid person knows that it's real, you know. I mean, I, it's completely. It's very funny when he talks like that. And but but I'm just saying that <laughs> it's like people living in that standard. They have this like they, you know, it's crazy. No, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, some people, some people at those positions, like Trump, he even said, I think that uh, injecting uh, sanitizer into the blood will keep the COVID off or something. I mean. Not only there in India, also we have people, we have lawmakers making some ridiculous statements. I mean, uh, that's sad. Actually, let's stop going to that. Exactly, but okay. with, with, I was like, what I was trying to say that then because I just want to make sure people. There are about seventy people. You know, they've been from a lot of people are listening to you, uh, and they've written so many things, and I'm going to read it later on. But it's like what I want to know is that. Tell me honestly, like you have got hold of this from your sources, and and you're coming forward. You were you were not being taken. Uh, I don't know if I have to use this word seriously, or or you've taken you've been taken too seriously, and that is why they're just ignoring. You know, it's like getting to be an ostrich that we don't see anything, and they put our put the head down and no problems. So it could be that effect, or they're taking you far too seriously. I don't know. I mean, this could be either ways. But I point... will tell you, I was from uh, my perspective, I will tell you because, okay. Um, see, the thing is that they know, they know. See, as I am telling, I have been saying that these are not the only copies that are out there. Obviously, Shushant has made uh, backup copies as well. Apart from this, I think there are five other copies. Okay. And all of them are uh, connected to a one common interface. So, but I can also see that none of them have been accessed. So maybe one of the copies is with CBI. Maybe one of the copies is with... Uh, uh, so maybe they already have access to it and they don't want to publicly acknowledge, uh, acknowledge my copy because once they acknowledge it, then they have to act on it. And the names that are coming, and the names that are coming out, I mean, you can understand. Sanya ji, you have taken interviews of Rabia ji as well. Right. So the CBI, you have seen how it actually acted against the interests of uh, truth in favor of the criminals. So I, I feel, I feel that because if they publicly acknowledge my drives and they have to acknowledge, I mean, they have to make some arrests and all because till now, I don't know. I mean, they are silent. But if they publicly acknowledge these drives, then uh, they cannot stay silent. They That's have true. to so show some actions. That's true. No, but one thing is there. What I'm seeing is like this is 
so clear. I mean, uh, it is very clear that this boy has been killed. You know, it's very clear. It's like, and and but the thing is that these uh, the they they haven't even put a charge sheet because they don't see any case in it because every all the evidence have been burnt have been you know eradicated and and that is very clear everybody knows now it's it's an open secret the police have only gone to the area to just mesh mesh you know that's their job probably that is the role they have uh, in in some cases not in all like the kundra's case you must have um, heard sanya ji the photographs are enough the photographs of sushant show it to any forensic expert show it to any forensic expert the ligature marks the way his arms were stretched the way his shins appear broken in the and the medical experts will be able to tell better but it's not that uh, evidences has been destroyed and that's the reason it's taking so much time they might want to make us believe that but that is not the reason No, I'm sure the reason is like you know safeguarding few people who you know who have been there or you know it it has to be that safeguarding those big shots who affect the decision making you know uh, ability for these authorities probably they are the people who are behind uh, you know these authorities and so so you know it could be and and since I am very closely in contact with Rabia ji I know what has happened in her case and it's so clear that you know how these people they are not even in her in jia's case there were these no big people were involved but they were pressured by somebody so i will i, I will read one slide now uh, you will understand why i mean they are not taking action at all because uh, yeah because uh, some people from the agencies police and uh, they are in it i mean they are in it together not everyone but uh, so i will read uh, start reading again sanya ji uh, the thing everyone needs to understand is that even when you are up to something it's only dedication that will help you reach to the roots of it and if you are not dedicated then you cannot achieve anything as i have said earlier this is now the dedication of my life i just want to ensure that all the things that i have seen with my own eyes heard it from people and things which i am sure unsure and not sure of everything i need to make notes of it because it's very important that the people who are with me need to be aware of every single aspect of my journey and the steps we have taken so that everything happens smoothly for now here the most important thing that i need to mention and one person on whom you should have your eyes like the eagle soaring high in the sky has on its prey is abhishek trimukhe This man is hand in glove with Bollywood and is the one who has been letting this white collar criminals off the hook. If it happened once or twice it's fine but every time whenever something wrong happened this person was there like the scarecrow right there to shoo honest people away from the scene and this has happened most of the times each time every time every single time this man was there when i go back and study some cases when i go back and study some cases this person was always there either as the investigating officer or the person who was trying to poison the mind of the investigating officers i don't want to talk at a length about this person because unless there is a hand on top of these people's head these people literally cannot do anything much about things and if he and if he is able to do things like this then there is a connection and this connection is very very important to leave trails on why i got my doubts on this person is that the betting scandal that happened this man was the investigating officer the most important thing that made me doubt this person even the more is nawazuddin siddiqui's wife's call recording case which she had filed on this dcp this is the pathetic condition of our law, law system and this has to change this will only change when we all raise our voice against it i will blow the conch and i am sure if no one follows me there are some people who are like minded like me and will follow me for sure the man whose hand is on the head of dcp trimukhe is none other than sharad pawar he was one of the main reasons why this man is totally able to execute things to perfection i know i am taking a huge name here but the proof for me to have taken this stand is 
right here at my fingertips. If anything needs uh, verification, you can just ask the people who were harassed to know the whole story and the thing uh, will be out black and white on paper. But if you don't want to go with words, there are a few people who can speak around this too. I'm telling this in detail here because these are the kind of officers who don't do their duty honestly and at the same time don't let others do their duty too. And if it, and if in Mumbai police there is one person who should be called the darkest spot on them, then the person is none other than this man who is literally involved in everything, money laundering, corruption, hawala, and has used his uniform in the best possible manner, not just to serve his masters, but also to go ahead and be a curse on himself and also the department that he is serving. And this is because of people like this that the entire system is suffering. The system is wrong, yes. But why is the system wrong? The system is wrong because the people in it are wrong. People like Abhishek Trimukhe are total blunder to the society. This is not the only person who is on the radar. There are some more. But the only problem that happens here is that the people who are involved in this, the people who have done the crime and the people who support the crime are so strong that the common man doesn't even want to stand up. And if he stands up, he, had, he ends up being another Ravindra Pat Patil. And if he stands up, he ends up being another Ravindra Patil. Do you think there are no eyewitnesses or evidence, evidences on the hit and run case where Salman was the one who was the reason all that happened? There were witnesses, but then what happened to them is not exactly known. Some people who had seen are gone missing and the family still keep getting the phone calls that the missing person is in Dubai or elsewhere out of India. I tried contacting a few and yes, they were out of India and one of them, I will not take the name here because the name is not important as the person I have no comments on what he had decided because when this kind of situations come into play, normal people who are real nobody tend to give in. And that is perfectly understood because who will stand up? If you stand up, who will take care of your family? And when the person who was a part of the system, a part of the police setup, he himself was harassed to the core, what do you expect me to do? These were the words I got to hear. And now if I go back and think, I clearly understand that it's not the person, but these people who bury down the truth by buying people's voices are the ones who are responsible. I didn't want to bore you but wanted you when reading this to understand one, through, one truth which I got to learn during this journey. That is, if you bow down, then you are the king. But if you raise your head, you are over. The man, in order to save himself, ensured that the people who could create problems for him, he got them settled with a good job. But what game he played here to ensure that he will always be safe is that the employer who has given employment to these people has the passports of these people in his custody. And the only condition that is put on these people before offering the job was they will never come back to India. And in the words of the person to whom I spoke, he clearly said that our families will also be brought here once we are settled. But the family does not want to come. That's why we were given two options, either die or go abroad and enjoy. And this job that we have got now, we don't need to work like hired laborers. We are hired, we are happy and relaxed that our work is paying us good and our family is happy. This is the bottom line. So please don't get in touch with us ever again. If you respect humanity, I got, I got my answers and I respect that person's request for privacy. But this that happened is a matter of great shame for all of us. that despite everyone knowing what has happened, no one is ready to speak. And the people who are ready to speak are either silenced or taken to task like this. Utter shame. The way these people operate, I seriously feel, where has humanity gone? But yes, whom do we blame? We cannot blame anyone because we are like this. We just don't bother about anything and this very attitude will cost us huge. This very attitude is letting the country down. This very attitude is letting people like Trimukhe do what they want to do. And 
his bosses get off the hook very easily the essay all started when i wanted to study why is salman khan like this the easiest way to get to the root of the issue is to get to the roots of this pers- of the person who has created the issue and that's when you can uncover the whole story the thing with this man is that he had a name because salim ji was already from the industry and he grew around this name arrogance and ignorance was always there in the person and this became even bigger with age and the type of contacts he had the biggest way these people used to trap highly placed people in the society is by getting into the flesh trade i'm sorry i'm writing this so blunt but this is a fact the first step towards being salman khan was this and i have verified the facts but the only bone in contention is that this person has spread so much fear around his name that no one really wants to come out in the open and speak against it this man has top guns in his pocket and can do anything when it comes to getting a job done betting international money transfers and hawala transactions since the time it came into the radar of the agencies everyone wanted one trustworthy platform for the same to be done without coming into the eyes of the authority and that's the reason being human came into existence and this is a reality this was told to me by alvira khan and the way she told she told as if her brother being the in charge of it is like winning a trophy or a matter of great pride to her i don't know what to say here but the people doing bad just do it and do it in such a way as if it's an achievement for them and there are no regrets for it this is the reality of being human and i have got access to some files and papers which i have to soon collect which will expose all of these people totally some names who are highly respected and adored to support this kind of an organization and we were under an impression that these are greats after getting to know all this i feel misguided and robbed of all my young days where we were looking up to these people and aspired to be like them thank god i couldn't be like them and i myself am very happy with what i am today but the innocent people who still follow these people who and these people who enjoy a demigod like status in the society shame on them i will make sure that these people will not go out that easy because it is not just the money or these crimes what they are doing in the dark have made them wrong millions and millions of emotions attached to them are being given a wrong picture and a wrong projection and that according to me is wrong is money that important that you blindly sign a fairness cream ad what about your religious books what about your halal philosophy i am not against religion here but does fairness creams have halal written on it and the worst p- part of it these people feature in the ad and make the public go for these products but their own but their own makeup kits do not have a single product they endorse i have known this and i have seen with it with my eyes why are you giving mileage to the idea where skin color becomes an important aspect to judge people skin color is not at all the means to make out whether a person is good or bad i am writing nonsense here but the only reason i am writing this is because even here these people very well are playing with our minds and making us slowly a slave of cheap products which can actually lead to a total different scenario later on the chemicals that are used in these fairness creams if you closely watch it and understand it and if you conduct your tests around this and get in touch with people who have done these tests you will understand on the long run have adverse effects of on your skin and body and can lead to a lot of skin related disorders what happens after that is once you have started to use these products you don't feel easy if you have not put your makeup on and just imagine how much harm you are doing to yourself and your near and dear ones don't take me wrong i am writing this but the connection of how this makeup can go into your stomach and why the celebrities when they greet each other touch their chin to the others chin instead of that casual kiss which is very common these days is because they are very well aware of what shit they have applied all over their face <laughs> but what about the common people 
one kiss chemical directly into your stomach hope you understand what point i am trying to make here everything is so very well interconnected and if you watch the patterns closely you will see that the demand is not actually there but it is created and once the demand is created then the supply is deliberately delayed so that the product becomes an instant hit and look at the contents used you will vomit out whatever you have eaten i don't have any grudge on any of these companies but yes these products are harmful for your skin and i will not endorse it and will try and put my effort to make people realize that there are a lot of options available with nature to look beautiful and if you are born that way that's your real beauty a little bit of powder touch up here and there a little bit of makeup is still fine but layer over layer over layer for hours together that's so much harm to your skin and the best advice to stay away for it, from it for us it's a curse you need to wear it but you have a choice and when it's about health there should be no compromise this was just my thought and yes don't think or feel i have written nonsense here but there are a lot of cases of skin diseases and so many other diseases where cosmetics are to be blamed sad but true the fact is this and not many want to accept it this was one chapter i wanted to get to people's notice on how every business is interconnected and finally ends up to the health industry hospitals the medicines prescribed the doctors cut the hosp- hospital stuff i'm sorry i'll read this again This was one chapter I wanted to get to people's notice on how every business is interconnected and finally ends up to the health industry hospitals the medicines prescribed the doctors cut the hospital stuff the things that happen everything is a chain link and closely connected to one another and here is the game that is being played on the lives of people and the way it is interconnected is so beautifully done that one product makes 100 co products survive around it all these products together give rise to a lot of diseases and the diseases you need hospitals and for hospitals you need money the only three businesses which will never face any recession is the fear industry what we are taught on the name of religion the hospital business and schools these three businesses will never go dry and the biggest shame is education which according to me should go out for free and should be sponsored by state is been going on a private scale and unfortunately in india it is if you see countries outside india the state takes care of the education and india will become a developed nation only when education comes under the account under the government and these private institutions are shut uh education plays a very important role in the forming the main structure of the society and private and privatization of education can create a lot of trouble for everyone because when education is the need of the hour this need should not hamper anyone's want for living what i mean to say here is that education should not be a burden on anyone if one thing can kill all vices in the society and can make people better and improve their standards of living be aware of what is happening around them then that tool is education but the costly private institution have made it a competition a race wherein normal government schools are suffering the thing now is that if i wanted to change something in the society or wanted to make the society better then i would first focus on giving the best quality of education at much affordable or no cost this is what we have to do and we have to do it collectively government is doing it with some schemes but this is not enough it has to be made mandatory and free for all and that's when a major change can be expected i know this thought is too good to be true because the education mafia will instantly get into action and start destroying everything but the fact is that there will be a lot of things that can be taken care if a tough stand is taken and we have to make sure this happens same with hospitals too I feel that when we pay taxes we have all the rights to ask these questions roads and others there are other remedial self sustaining source of incomes for the government toll booths platform tickets etc etc and for projects also if there are stringent measures in place everything is easily possible 
this will take time but is not impossible i will play my role too in this by making sure i give my bit of whatever i can and make sure that this bit counts one voice doesn't make much of a difference but if 10 people join hands and make sure there is a voice then the impact will definitely happen and this is the kind of impact that is the need of the hour unity we need to first ensure we will leave all our differences aside and stay united i will work on this with my people and try to spread these messages in a way where everyone will understand what the message is this is a dream for me too and i will make sure i will leave this dream i will live this dream and make it make it a reality we all have to work towards this and how to do it i will make sure i will lead the way and make this happen because this according to me is the one short answer to most of the problems in the society i don't want to look down upon them but if you see most of the crimes that happen the criminals are illiterate or do not have proper education and i feel if this problem is taken care of at least 40% of the problems in the society will be taken care of and this is the reality which we will see, all see in the future i have the zeal in me while writing this and if everything goes as per my plan then this will make sure that everyone exactly knows what the importance of education is and will take it seriously people know people now might think and ask that what about the jobs for these people jobs can be created or people can become independent entrepreneurs and work towards their own growth anyways here the government too is supporting this and this has to be used wisely by both the people and the government and the revolution will definitely happen this is one change which has to come soon i know it will take some time for this but it is never too late to start so sanya ji i will stop yeah. here okay i yeah. have read a lot you have and uh, what i would say dikshit ji is that i can you know i don't know this can't be a coincidence because uh, you mentioned those areas where he was very passionate when it came to his personal thinking on few areas of the society and what he thinks uh, so this is something which is which was a very what do you call music to the ears you know talking about education and everything he was actually uh, being a part of that thought he was acting upon the thought that he was writing he had been educating a lot of young people sending them to nasa a lot of people from slums he had been so he's been doing a lot of himself and he's also been writing in his diaries about the importance of it and the the fact that he was talking about the free education you know the education should be free and the privatization has to be removed it's making so much sense uh so what i'm trying to say is that i don't think that these are uh, these these this is a script writing going on because there are so many things i'm seeing in the language and everything no um, sanya is just uh, uh, i will just ask one thing irrespective of language or whatever it is why would i write i mean someone write a script okay taking such big names inviting trouble on oneself yeah. inviting pressures on oneself yeah. and what am i actually gaining out of it yeah that's I mean, what i'm saying that's that's the side of it that's why i'm mentioning this whole thing because i don't find it you know and and the fact that somebody is going it's not like i'm just putting it across to the public because i'm sure they understand it themselves but i want to make it very very you know focus it on it that i don't think people will just do it until as you said earlier profitization and here i'm seeing that you know you've got hold of this and you're just putting forward as it is because it it is taken a lot of time for somebody to put go into so detail because it's a very detailed thing and it it can only be written by a person who's living that life i mean i can see that there there are some aspects of it they're not very simple things it's been written they're very detailed he's very well and it it shows that he was like that he wasn't a very intelligent thoughtful guy and he was a little crazy uh, you know very kind of a person who would go in deep into things so i can imagine I, yeah, yeah you are an, you are analyzing it okay but yeah. uh, most of the people are gullible i mean they can be easily made to believe so one thing i want to make uh, people very very cautious is that whatever uh, drive contents i am sharing okay people have ob- obviously have lot of objections to the contents coming out in the public okay so they will not like this drives to gain momentum or support of the people 
they will not like people to believe that these tribes are genuine so they will have their campaigns they will have their social media campaigns and there will be some big profiles like advocates are all calling fake and threatening to file cases and all that has been happening okay but ultimately i will just say one thing uh, what is take what has taken i don't know what future has in hold for me okay because i am going to share the rights in spite of all the trolling and bullying and all the videos made on me uh, calling me fraud and all whatever i will share but uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow when the it becomes too much for the people whose names are coming out to take any action might be taken on me but one thing i would like uh, people not to get misled by the vicious campaigns that will start but always uh, remember one thing what what took them so long even if something happens kindly insist kindly insist for a televised televised uh, investigation interrogation and uh, you know whatever whatever happens between me and the agencies if anything like that happens fantastic so i mean so grateful that you're talking because there are a lot of people who are saying that dpg we are with you uh, i've seen a lot of people who have been talking and listening to you and uh, so there are people who totally believe you um and 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 i'm so grateful that that's the reason that's the reason i want this whole thing to be out because it's not just for uh, for the people but it's also for the authorities that we will continue and uh, we will continue speaking one, one way or the other and dipti ji i just want to ask you and just to update for people who are asking me here that how many uh, like now i don't know if you have any count on it that what kind what how many number of the drives is this now which number of drive is this like that you are and decoded this is the third this is the third one okay this is so the third the one okay yeah. and uh, one drive contains all the uh, proofs whatever right. videos or documents or uh, photos are there i will work on that drive in the end because that drive is four times more heavily encrypted than the rest of the drives right Right. so i will finish all those and then uh, we will work towards uh, those so okay. let's see yeah because the the next drive i'm asking those people just checking on it the next drive when we talk is going to be the fourth drive whenever we have no 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 uh i started off with the first drive then people uh, started saying what happened who i mean near his death time where were other this this so i then jumped to the eight drive okay. so i am not going in order yeah so you you jumped on the eight drive so this is the eighth drive is it this one which we are yeah. talking about third drive no this is the eighth drive it's eighth drive okay yeah. and this eighth drive we have spoken almost everything from there no no there are still There's there are still, still more files in this. Yeah, there are still more files. Do we are those files any related to uh, anything to do? Because you did here. I was very interested also because you did mention about uh, in this uh, with Jia Khan and how Kangana has been, you know, portraying and you know. Do you have any developments on that or that was the thing? So, um, so he has no no in Jia's. Uh, he has gone into more detail going forward he has okay, definitely yeah he has he has uh, definitely i will come and uh, come again with rabia ji if she is kind enough to come again yes. uh, we will discuss on that as well there have there is more regarding jia okay but okay. i haven't shared it anywhere yet neither on uh, twitter nor on any video but yes there is, there is more on Yes, uh, on his investigation about yes, we will, well, yeah. we will take we will take that we will take that maybe next week. I'm going to get back to uh, you and Rabia too because she was you know so we 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 will be doing something with Rabia ji so we can maybe combine. Okay. And uh, yeah, and so that is also very important. A lot of people are following that case because I'm working with Rabia ji quite closely. So that would be interesting also because and at the same time the uh, what I wanted to ask you was. that so if we have to continue for sushant so will that be the eighth drive we'll be continuing for them to know so is that the eighth drive or you're going to be discussing the next drive which you will be opening up oh when when are you saying no whenever we meet next is this we going to continue the eighth drive 
um, I mean, there's a lot in this. But if we are coming with uh, Rabia ji, I would uh, say that uh, we will talk about that incident, okay. his further findings into that and all. Okay. Okay. So then we know. Great. Uh, Dipti ji, I am so grateful that you came here and you put your time and your, I mean, it's, I know, I know that, you know, and, and, and one more thing, a lot of people were asking uh, if you are here now, because I would rather, because a lot of people are watching you. Uh, do you have a, because a lot of people asked me to ask you, do you have a, a kind of a, a background of uh, some legal background? Is it what, because for me also, I feel that you're very qualified legally. So no, that's because of my experience with uh, Shri Devi case. Shri Devi's case has, was in Supreme Court since uh, 26th of November. Though we got 30 days, uh, we didn't get any hearing. But uh, I mean, uh, the kind of games, the kind of uh, objections, or the kind of counters that came uh, during that case. And finally, I, because I had to change three to four lawyers, some got sold, some got threatened, and they started mishandling my case. So ultimately, I filed Article 32B, and I decided to fight my own case as the defense counsel. So that's when I took some, uh, you know, practice sessions with my legal, from my legal help and all, uh, regarding the case flow and also. See, uh, that's uh, Shri Devi's journey. That's a very big, uh, uh, that's another story entirely. But uh, right now, uh, since I have put my head into two controversial things, that is Shri Devi's case and Sushant's case, there are attempts. They are just waiting. People are just waiting where I commit a small mistake. Okay. So I am only telling those I'm in the public for which I have concrete proofs. Lot has happened, lot has happened. I mean, people keep asking that, has anyone contacted you from the authority side? And see, a lot of things happen, but until and unless people contact, people contact through indirect ways, people contact through untraceable routes. But since I am in a very, very critical situation because of two controversial issues that I somehow uh, got into, I have to be very careful uh, regarding what I put in front of the people. Right. So I understand. So you have very you know, good legal advisors behind you who are. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That's, that's, that's a very important aspect that you're taking up, and uh, so that's very that's comforting to hear uh, for people like the Safarians that that you have the. Uh, you know, the see, legal... even in the political, even in the political uh, field or the agencies or something, see, there are people who want to help. They are, there are honest people, but um, they will help in their limited capacity and they don't want their norms to be known. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain people like that as well. And I, I have received help. I have received help from people, some big names, some not so known names. But they don't want their names to be known. Right. Yeah. So, yes. so that's where some certain fire faith on humanity still, um, you know, uh, it still is in spite of what kind of games uh, have been played mm. at the Supreme Court level regarding Shidevi's case. Mm. So, mm. let's see. I mean, Sushant too wanted to. Sushant too wanted to, you know, make people aware of. Uh, what actually what actually is happening around and uh, people uh, before him like Shri Devi ji too wanted to expose that you know women trafficking angle of uh, Boni Kapoor and that uh, Hawala transactions and all and from Sushant's drives uh, uh, he says that Divya Bharti too wanted to expose something about the Mumbai blast about her husband's involvement in the Mumbai blast so you see I mean the people who wanted to, you know, make people aware, make the people aware of the truth, they have been silenced. Yeah. You know. mm, that's true. And I actually, you know, uh, I, with Sri Devi, definitely it's a blunder because uh, it's so strange. I mean, can you imagine that she was in Dubai and, and she had the life insurance there? It's what a coincidence. Like, I mean, how, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Who does that? If you are living in Mumbai, who does that? That you make a life insurance there and then finally you end up there and you you're gone there like you just you know so the, 
I mean, just simple, simple things if you take out, not in the nitty-gritties, you'll just find so many loopholes in those okay. things. Right. And then on top of it, I can almost imagine, you know, because the other day I was seeing their old pictures and old, there was some kind of award-winning show when Boni and he had, they had so much of stiffness in their bodies, both of them. And I'm sure because what happens is they are so big faces, they have to come together in few parties and all because they want to maintain the facade. And I'm sure they, it was looking so much that she was not happy. Last few years when she came out the second, I, it was it felt that there was something wrong with them. It felt it. But today, when after listening the whole story, you can imagine that she had a moral rift with him. It may not be personal, but it was a moral rift she had. She could not bear what he was doing. And Sanya ji, uh, I mean, uh, obviously people have noticed that. And uh, I mean, one report, the one news was circulated in the media saying that uh, Shridevi was so into the character that she didn't speak to her family for the entire schedule of the shooting. So what actually happened was that to cover up for the fact that something was wrong, this story was let out in the media. If you check, this news was there that she was so deeply I mean, involved in that Deviki character that she didn't speak to the family for two to three months. So, I, how they manipulate, how they manage the things that come out in the news. So, it's a very deep game for them. And you know, it's like when you're saying, because just in the recent case, I just want to connect two and two together that how money is encapsulating in all these societies because the Kundra's case, he gave uh, Parminder Singh their nine crores to keep shut in February. So what I'm trying to say is that everything in this kind of a business, the glitz and the glamour and all this mafia and everything, it's all money which is ruling everybody and they keep shut people by just throwing money at their, you know, at every front and they pay big money. They're paying crores of the people. That's why people Going are yeah, going forward in these slides also, Sushant has mentioned that uh, he has spoken to Paramvir Singh four times and has shared his findings with him. And the next time, and the next he finds is that Suras comes to know about it and asks him about it. So you see, I mean, that's when he discovers the true face of uh, this Paramvir Singh. So there are slides going ahead which also mention that. That would be very interesting to hear. And when you are talking with that, uh, Sushant's father had sent in the month of February, uh, the police that my son is having, you know, li his life is under threat. And there was no response. So they, from his family, had written to the police. And it was Parambi that time on the spot. But nothing, nothing uh, he did. And of course, he knew, na? what would he do? Because he knew that somebody else is ruling the show. So I'm just saying that this is all, as you are saying, that even he has met Parambir and talked about it and finally realizes that, okay, he's all into the game. So, you know, and and, and parents have also written to uh, to the police. So what I'm saying is that this is such a muck these people have created. And what is it going, what is ruling? It's all money, you know, it's all money, even with the GSP. And, 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 and the family of Sushant also, I mean, they must be under constant surveillance, constant totally. pressure. Totally. 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 Okay, so and I don't sure know. I mean, I'm sure the daughters are doing because the father is old. He's already got, you know, his uh, heart is not okay, and so daughters are just taking a back seat and making sure that you know nothing more happens. Or I mean, I'm speculating. I have no clue about what's happening in their family, but I'm very sure that uh, they're not in a very good spot. I know that. Uh, no, I mean, uh, I mean. We can understand, see, uh, their family, everyone, every one of them can be, they are monitored, they are under surveillance, maybe their uh, social media accounts are also monitored. We don't know what kind of pressure they are in exactly. 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 But uh, this is where the lawyer could have come as a big support. If so, he should have taken some tough stance, he would have come out in the public or he would have, uh, you know, uh, appealed to the court for... Uh, you know, pressurizing CBI to submit the findings uh, sooner or go on to the CVC. So I don't know. I mean, but Diti, I heard that Mr. Harish Salve has uh, taken over. Is that true? Because no, I've heard Harish that... Salve was only uh, fought for this Nyai thing. I mean, yeah. making a movie and about that thing. I think I think so. I as far as the, I know, Vikas Singh is still the lawyer. Yeah. 
uh, is still their lawyer. Okay, I thought that he stepped into uh, the. Okay, but it was okay. Uh, let, let because I I I uh, I was uh, hearing many things, but it must be that he just came for a particular case for his. Yes, but particular hearing for that that might be the case. Okay, but anyway, let's uh, Deepthi ji, uh, we will catch you again, and I would want uh, you to just promise me that you take care, and I'm happy about that that you are having good support system when it comes to the legalities and at the same time because i'm grateful for you that you come very carefully you talk because right now i feel even though a lot of people were questioning on your disclaimer i think it's very sensible for you to do that and i support that actually i've been thinking about it quite a lot so i want to put it down in the public uh, you know the little i know of the uh, thing that it is a very very good way to for you to handle this case because as you're not fighting for it yourself you're just laying the information yes. out. so because you're not really you know as you're fighting for the case you're not fighting for this case so i can understand that so the, the authorities have given you uh, a good kind of uh, information and I, i think people must understand your position and the fact that you are keeping this case alive by informing people what is happening and it's up to the authorities to take it seriously and to act upon and at least as you are coming forward and i would just say it through you and through this channel if so anybody is listening to us that at least validate or non validate what dipti ji is saying you can go and say we we don't validate what you're saying so that's also okay but at least come forward and say something you know that just not doing anything will not make any sense na so that is what we are saying dipti ji is here i'm telling right in front of tell her that you are wrong and i'll be very fine but at least you tell something to her you tell that no this information or you tell put down you know so i'm sure you would also want that you know so if 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 you are not okay they should say she's not okay but they are also they are keeping quiet so that is the reason we are we will not stop and we will continue i'm going to keep chasing you deepthi ji because we will keep having this talk and conversation for all the authorities and i'm jokes apart this is a very serious matter we demand justice and we want truth to come out and i'm sure you are a very important channel for people like us who are the middlemen for uh, you know the cesareans and uh, you know for the authorities and we are we are supporting the truth we are supporting the justice for this case and i know every word you spoke today it was music to my ears in terms of that you laid that information out in that terms not on for this one case god bless his soul i love you sushant singh and uh, thank you so much dipti ji that you thank are you. thank you so much and take care thank you so much thank you thank you thank you see you again see yeah. you bye yeah take care bye so this was dipti ji who was here so grateful that she comes always it's it's 12 o'clock in india and she comes uh, again and again and just keeps you know so i am very thankful to dipti ji to come forward and talk i'm very thankful to all of you so ssarians who are here all the time every time and you listen you support you write you comment and i always uh, you know uh, go through all your comments i promise you i always go through comments you must pardon me that i don't read them because it's when i'm having a guest i have always and i read i'm reading mahesh panji uh, who said that you're with deepthi ji i'm so grateful i'm reading uh, sushamna uh, bhagwat ji um, and then i'm i'm also seeing uh mahesh ji and then we are seeing preetpal kaur ji hello and then i said uh, lut lutful azad ji uh, we have we have sneha kashyap ji who is online we had arjun kapoor ji we had kiran kapoor ji and so we've we've had very many people who've been writing we've got anan ji and we've got shrikant ji krishna ji who came and we have yashoda ji uh, we've got runa ghosh ji um, uh, and we have uh, we have lot of people who and we have this neeta uh, dadlani ji we have zavier ji and we have gauri khanna ji who came and who spoke so i'm just mentioning your name that i'm i'm reading and we have purtak um, purtsak uh, you know dalma ji and we have manjusha shrivastava ji uh, rama ji anand ji again preetpal ji again uh, rumit malik and i'm i'm just mentioning almost everyone um, alpau ji um, and we have 
Chiranjiji. So we, I'm trying to name almost everybody, Samji, and then we have El Jaban Ji, and then Ankit Ji. So, and Debashi Ji, I mentioned you earlier, Yatish Ji, Ankit Ji, Hema Ji. So a lot of people who came and joined us, and I'm so grateful all of you came. And uh, I want you to know that I'll be coming every single day now from like tomorrow. I'll be coming tomorrow, day after, uh, you know, uh, and we have, I'm going to be coming next week again. So join me, catch me on live with wonderful people. I'm going to be taking up Kundra's, uh, Raj Kundra's case with uh, people who have been, uh, tomorrow I'll be coming with a singer who has actually worked in uh, Raj Kundra's, um, uh, you know, film. Uh, as a singer who, you know, that he, he he says that he didn't know about it. So I'm going to be talking to him directly. Uh, I'm also going to be talking to an advocate from uh, for Sushant Singh's case. And I'm also going to be getting a wonderful panelist, a very famous panelist, who's also going to be talking on terms of how these, this you know, cases which are coming forward are affecting us, our psyche, our youth, and at the same time talking about the hypocrisies of the elite people. So I'm going to be taking up a lot of such these topics. Please join me. And I'm grateful for you all that you're giving me so much of love. I am very grateful. I'm touched. And I'm going to keep continuing fighting for justice and truth and making sure that I do my part to live in this beautiful world as this world is beautiful. But we need to basically enhance the beauty of the world by watching the truth and keeping up with the justice ride. Thank you so much, everybody. And aap apna khayal rakhe, aap apna dhyan rakhe, aur ham ye jo mukam muhim hai, jo justice ki muhim hai, ye jo sabte ki muhim hai, ham isko banaye rakhenge. Aur main aapka saath hamisha chahungi ki aap hamisha saath dein hamara. Aur jaise ye page hai justice for Sushant Singh or Bridgewani or ye sab pages ko bahut pyar dein aap. And uh, I'm going to be meeting you again tomorrow. Thank you so much and dhyan rakhe aapna. Bye bye.